Hello, YouTube's Krosama, and what I have today is a special guest. It's your boy Steve. Yeah, it's uh, it's Steve. Uh, so he's actually going to assist me. Actually, by a large majority of you who voted, uh, for Steve to actually, you know, essentially host the actual show. So we're just going to take a look at some Gundams that's going to be releasing in March and just make a, you know, kind of like a little decision on whether or not these kits should, you know, essentially join my collection and be reviewed. Uh, so there's not really any kind of grading system. It's just kind of like a yay or nay. And if I'm really into it and I guess if Steve's into it or not, but he's generally not the person that's going to be building these. If I wanted to build them, I'll build them, Crow. Don't you goddamn test me. You can build whatever you want, Steve. I generally don't care. Just don't touch my, just don't touch any of my frame armors, girls. Goddamn pervert. So, taking a look at the first kit, we do have the Narrative Gundam. This is going to be the C pack. Uh, so, basically, about this kit, it looks pretty damn good. It's going to be released on March 9th, so actually not too far away from now. And it's going to retail for 2,484 yen. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit lower over here in Japan, roughly around maybe the 2,000 yen mark. So, that's sweet, sweet spot for high grades. And it comes with a lot of different accessories. So what I'm seeing is, you know, going to be the shield, you got the beam sabers, you got the rifle. Uh, so actually it's not as much of what I was thinking, but it's pretty decent. And I think the overall aesthetics look nice. I know a lot of people have been kind of like, you know, shitting on it recently. But to me, I think it looks fine. Uh, you know, what do you, what do you think, Steve? All I see is a wannabe Gundam Crow. It just tries to amount to something special, but then it just has all these little starbursts all over it. It's just not my thing. What are you talking about, Steve? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, the little psycho frame looks a little bit off, but it's aesthetically nice. Like, I don't, I don't get what you're talking about. Like, I don't think anyone's really saying anything bad about this. Well, la -dee da I guess I'm the first one. I sometimes wonder what goes on in a head of yours. <laughs> You know, just Gundam things. All right, well, let's go on to the uh, the next little one. So we do actually have some Kamen Rider stuff. Do you want to look into that at all? No, I'm good. I'm not really into the whole boy band Beatle thing. Yeah, I'm actually with you on that. I'm, I'm not too into it either. So let's just go ahead and move on to the Gundam. So coming out on March 15th is going to be such a beautiful kit. And I've actually been kind of conservative on my opinion on this. Uh, generally, I just kind of, you know, said, yeah, I'm, I am going to get it, but I haven't really expressed, you know, my thoughts on the, the model itself. Uh, but this kit looks super good, the Massigrade Dynamis. This is going to be coming in at 4,860 yen, so it is a fairly hefty price, uh, but it's, I would actually say it's more average, uh, you know, for a Massigrade of this quantity. It's going to be a fairly big, you know, Massigrade around the same size as Exia. Uh, and I think XC is a fairly good, you know, size kit. But overall, this just, it looks super good. I love the overall aesthetics of the Dynamis. It's one of my favorite of the 00 series. Uh, I would actually say it's my second favorite, you know, right next to Exia. But overall, the wings look great. A lot of great detail is going to be etched into that. The posability looks fantastic. Um, although I will say the app crunch, uh, so that way you can get into the pro mode, is not really that, you know, appealing. Uh, but I think everything else looks great. You got the pistols, uh, the back thrusters look fantastic. So this is going to be a 100% buy on my end. Super excited for this, and I'm going to try and review this ASAP for you guys. So what about you, Steve? What are your thoughts on this? You know what, Crow? Seeing your excitement for this gets me excited as well. So I'll say it's a, it's a pretty good looking kit. Maybe not in uh, you know, the quality of my type of plastic, but uh, overall it's nice. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Yeah, that's, that's some kind words for your fellow brethren. And next, we're going to have from the figure eye standards the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito. Uh, this is, of course, from the movie. And I think it looks really good overall. It's going to be releasing, I, I'm pretty sure, the same day as the Dynamis. Uh, but overall, I'm not super into the Dragon Ball Z line as of yet. Uh, I do have a few kits that I really want to build and just kind of like get those out of the way. Uh, but you know what? It doesn't look too bad. I, I may pick it up in the future when I'm kind of like getting burnt out of Gunpla 
and want to start, you know, getting some more DBZ stuff in my collection. Because I have a lot of SH fig arts in the collection, just not a lot of the, uh, you know, the figure eyes. So maybe in the near future, we'll see about, you know, getting this. But uh, right now, it is going to be a pass, but it's not a pass based on the aesthetics. Uh, but yeah, I mean, coming in at 3,000 yen, I mean, that's not really bad at all, especially for all the effects and everything. And uh, what I've seen with a lot of these kits more recently is that the aesthetics and the overall posability is really high end. So I think the price is definitely warranted, but this will be a pass on me. Uh, Steve, any thoughts? You know, Crow, I'm very, I'm very saddened that you can't have your little boy toy in your collection. But overall, you know, it's, 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 it's your thing. It's not mine. So I'm going to just... Uh, I'm gonna say a hard pass. You're goddamn asshole, Steve. Oh boy, oh boy. This is honestly probably one of my. I'm I'm super hyped about this. Like my hype for Dynamis is just a little a little speck of dust in comparison to my hype for the Master Grade H2 Magnum. I absolutely love anything Gundam Age, and the Magnum is I would say a very great a really good improvement overall on the H2 design aesthetics. Uh, this is going to be coming in at a whopping 6,000 yen. Uh, should release on March 22nd, so one week after Dynamis, which is great because I would, I would love to focus on each of these kits and their own like individuality so I could spend an entire weekend, you know, building it and just kind of like really being immersive without feeling the pressure of rushing into like, you know, hurry, hurry up and complete it uh, for the review. I can kind of take my time a little bit. But man, this kit looks super, super good. It's going to have a lot of great effect parts i'm i'm very much hyped about the effect parts in particular because uh one thing i really loved about master grades is that the uh, effect parts kind of like pop out a little bit more than what they do with the high grade line so i'm really hyped for it i i cannot wait to have it in my collection it's going to be one of those kits that i'm probably going to put in the forefront of my actual like you know build divers or my age collection i think i'm probably just leaving the build diver section but it's definitely going to be in the front so that way it can be the focal point of it and i can always just take a glance at it in the collection but uh i know steve you're gonna probably say some witty remark but hey go ahead and shoot it looks like trash you hold the goddamn monster and next we got the <laughs> the um figure eye standard ayame so the figure eye standard ayame is going to be a pretty damn good kit. It's coming out on March 22nd, and it's going to retail for about 2,500 yen. I think that price is definitely warranted for all the different fla uh, face plates that you're going to get, as well as the water slide decals for all the different eyes that you can have. So this is going to be very, you know, kind of highly customizable in terms of like the personality you can give this kit. Uh, I'm really stoked for it. I don't. I've been kind of debating if I want to paint this because I'm, I'm almost done with the Frame Arms Girl and honestly paint, painting a Frame Arms Girl has been way easier than what I was thinking. I thought it was going to be a little bit more chaotic once I, uh, I snap, you know, built it together and then disassemble it uh, and then start painting it. But it's actually been fairly easy. I uh, haven't really been breaking anything and uh, overall the paint process has been, you know, pretty fair. Uh, so with this, I'm, I might actually just go ahead and paint it and um, I haven't really thought if I'm going to do anything custom but just give it a really nice paint job but that's kind of like up in the air right now i do have a lot of things especially when this is going to be coming out alongside the uh massacre h2 magnum so i might want to build this first as a snap build and then just build the massacre uh, h2 and then probably just paint this a little bit in you know a little bit of distant future but uh you know super excited for this because um the figure I stand line by Bandai when it came to the uh, more females like the Nami and the Sarah has been super great. Uh, I know Steve, he's um, you know he's over there infatuated with Sarah, so you know what I'm I'm definitely buying this and uh, you know I got I just got to keep it away from Steve. You know what, Crow? If I was a different man, I would be taking offense to that. But you know what? I got Sarah. So you could have your Yame. Well, um, well, for one, you're not a man. You're definitely a Gundam. But um, you know, I, I am gonna definitely uh, keep a Yame to myself and uh, keep her away from you, you disgusting pervert. So overall, guys, uh, that's for pretty much it for the main retail line. There's not really a whole lot coming out. There's only like four. I would say four real good, you know, model kits that I think is coming out. Everything else, Kamen Rider. That's kind of more your own, you know, alley if that is for you. But uh, I'm looking forward to these four retail kits. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the more premium stuff. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the TR6. 
Uh, essentially what this is, is like a little hazel kind of custom backpack that you can attach to the wound ward and it's not really the, the base model kit itself, you're just getting all these different attachments which looks pretty good, I mean for 2500 yen I, I think that's actually pretty sound for all what you're getting. Uh, some pretty cool weapons and armor, but you know what? This isn't really my thing. Uh, it's I like my wound ward the way she is, so whatever I build her, I'm just gonna keep her that way. I'm not really interested in this. Then we got some good old gun cannon love from Double Zeta. Eh, it's not really my thing. Once again, I'm not a big uh, gun cannon guy, so 4,320 yen. That's a pretty good price for what you're getting, but obviously you gotta think of like the third party sellers and all that, the little scalpers. Uh, so it's probably bulked up to maybe about $65, $70 if you're lucky. Uh, I don't really see it going lower than that. But it also depends on the, the man, demand and supply. So if it's short supply but high demand, hey, you're going to be paying an arm and a leg. But if not many people want it but there's a lot you know, of supply, you'll probably get it at a pretty decent price. But yeah, that's not my thing. So hard pass. What about my opinion? All right, Steve, what's your opinion? Hard pass. Ah, so now we come up to the Gun Blaster. So overall, these aesthetics on this look fantastic. Really, the biggest change I've actually seen is the backpack. I could be completely mistaken, but uh, the only noticeable difference I've seen is the backpack, which looks fantastic, looks great. Uh, but, you know, it's not something I really want to pre-order. But if I do find it out in the streets and, like, you know, if I'm shopping uh, out and about, and I find it for pretty much what that price is, the 3,700 yen or lower, I'm probably go ahead and pick it up. Or actually, I'll just say like 4,000 or lower. I'll, I'm, I'll probably pick it up at that point. Uh, but overall, not really something I'm going to get immediately, but something that will be picked up in the future. And then we got this. I don't, I don't even want to talk about it past. And lastly, we have the high grade extra finish, the Sananju Stein narrative version. This is going to be sold at the Gundam base, uh, but I'm not really into the whole like, you know, very metallic, shiny stuff that you can buy. If I'm going to do it, I'm, I'm going to try and do it myself. But overall, this is. You know, 5,000 yen, oh my god, that's a lot of money for a high grade, so that's going to be a hard pass for me, I already have mine, and I'm actually going to paint it in normal colors, uh, I would say the correct colors, an actual white and uh, very light gray color scheme for the suit, instead of that very ugly gray that came with it, so that's about it, uh, that's, that's all the kits guys. Not really too much else, but you know, I think it's a healthy amount of kits, what do you think? You know all this talk of Gundams, reminds me of a story. A story we're going to go ahead and mention on another video. But if you like any of these kits that were mentioned, definitely head over to NewTypeHQ.com and you can pick out any of these kits to pre-order since none of them are released yet. Uh, but you can pre-order them and I would really encourage you to get on some of the more hot topic ones such as the MG Dynamis and the uh, Ayame. So if you do want those kits, probably go ahead and pre-order them fairly soon because I'm really expecting them to you know sell out on the website or at least be low stock but uh, if they do have a good shipment that comes in then you should be in good luck uh, but overall definitely thank you guys for watching and also it, whenever you do go to a website use promo code Krosama so that way you can get 10% off uh, but that's it for me you know definitely like the video if you did enjoy it let me know in the comment section below on what kits you know we're kind of more interested in and like always, definitely hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. But I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye-bye.